but are reporting temperatures in the mid to upper 90s. Locations closer to the water only saw temperatures in the upper 80s to look to uh, near 90 degrees. Here at Wallops, we got to 88. Low temperatures this morning were mild once again across the region with uh, locations only reaching the mid-70s for lows. As far as precipitation yesterday, we did see a couple pop-up showers and storms across portions of the central and northern Delmarva. Dover did get about a quarter of an inch of rain from one of those storms, with uh, storms missing all other TAF sites across the region. Taking a look at our conditions as of 9 a.m., we are seeing temperatures warm up uh, quite a lot as we go into this morning with um, the heat index already approaching, already uh, peaking at 100 degrees as of the 10 a.m. hour here at Wallops. And then as of 9 a.m., most locations are seeing temperatures in the mid to upper 80s across the region under mostly sunny skies. Taking a look at our sounding from 12Z this morning, we are seeing winds rather variable and pretty light across the entire column. Winds near the surface at 1,000 feet were westerly at 14 knots, but then above there we do see winds decrease, um, being pretty variable, only around 5 to 10 knots from 3,000 feet all the way up to the 20,000 feet foot level and still even at the 25,000 foot level we're only seeing winds uh, 10 knots pretty variable at the north uh, from the north east at that level with a very high freezing level this morning above 16,000 feet taking a look at our surface analysis as you can see high pressure is dominating much of the eastern United States this morning and we are also seeing uh, some high pressure or uh, upper level ridge rather built into the area and that will help to suppress any convection that we have been seeing across the area the past few days so just expecting some pop-up cumulus clouds this afternoon and no chance of showers or storms here at Wallops. Taking a look at our satellite and radar as you can see there's uh, no showers on the radar across the mid-Atlantic region this is just some radar clutter we're seeing here and we are just uh, seeing some very thin cirrus clouds as well, but uh, beyond that, we are just seeing um, sunny skies across the region with uh, that west-southwesterly flow really starting to evict that uh, hot air mass across the Delmarva. So taking a look at our Thursday forecast planner here, not going to see a whole lot of change in these uh, forecast charts as we go into the next couple days as high pressure will remain uh, across the east coast, uh, bringing in that... Um, these above average temperatures as well as a pretty humid air mass as well. Um, there is uh, going to be that front well to the north and that will sag down later into the week as we uh, into the weekend. But looking into uh, today and tonight, not going to see much change. Just seeing that high pressure remaining in control under uh, partly cloudy to mostly clear skies. As we go into tomorrow morning, we are going to be looking at the hottest day across the region as uh, that upper level ridging nudges closer to the area, helping to really um, cause some subsidence and increase those temperatures uh, possibly near the triple digits across portions of the central dome larva. As we go into Friday uh, afternoon, we're going to see that front that was to the north start to slowly approach northern portions of the dome larva. It's going to be pretty weak, not going to um, give us any weather, but it will act, help to uh, further suppress the atmosphere a little bit, um, compress the atmosphere rather, and that's going to aid in increasing those temperatures to uh, possibly the hottest day of the year so far for um, many portions of the Delmarva and here at Wallops. Just taking a look at uh, our Saturday plan, we are going to be seeing that front that was um, shown in the previous slide dip down, um, I believe, on Saturday. I believe this uh, map is a little bit um, erroneous, but that front is going to impact us on Saturday night a bit just barely touching northern portions of the Delmarva and that is going to spark off some showers and thunderstorms mainly in the late evening hours of Saturday. So uh, Saturday during the day is going to be looking like another partly cloudy and hot and humid day with uh, some reprieve in the form of showers and thunderstorms for our Saturday night. And as we go into Sunday we are going to uh, continue to see a stationary boundary to the north of the area and that is going to continue our chance of showers and thunderstorms through the weekend into early next week with uh, warm temperatures. Taking a look at our hazards for today, not looking anything in the way of hazards except for uh, some warm hot heat indexes. Like I mentioned before, we have already touched um, a heat index of 100 degrees this morning here on the main base. Heat indexes will be slightly cooler um, along the ocean on the island. 
and as we go into this afternoon we will see those heat indexes exceed 100 degrees um, being just shy of 105 for this afternoon we are going to be seeing a high temperature today of around 92 degrees winds will be from the southwest at 8 to 13 knots as we go into this afternoon We'll see, uh, continue to see mostly clear skies as we go into tonight um, with a low of 77 expected for tomorrow morning before those temperatures start to skyrocket again um, in the mid-morning hours Friday. Taking a look at our terminal forecast, we're mainly just going to be seeing uh, that thin cirrus that is currently out there continue throughout the day today, possibly seeing a couple pop-up cumulus clouds across the uh, more inland portions um, just to the west of Wallops here. And then as we go into tonight, we'll start, we'll continue to see some uh, cumulus clouds in the area, and uh, that will continue tomorrow morning as well, possibly seeing just a few clouds around the 10,000 foot level as well. Taking a look at the next few days, for Friday, it is looking like the hottest day of the weekend, the weekend um, tomorrow, with partly cloudy skies and heat indexes will exceed 105 degrees here at Wallops and like I said we could be seeing triple digit temperatures in some isolated spots across central portions of the Delmarva. Friday night's going to be another muggy night with a low of just 77 and then Saturday is going to still be a hot and humid day with a high of 93. Heat indexes will still be exceeding 100 degrees here and then we will get a chance of some showers and thunderstorms as we go into the late evening hours on Saturday. Looking at our seven-day forecast, you can see those uh, hot temperatures in the mid-90s are going to continue through the weekend before we finally get a reprieve into the middle of next week. We will also be seeing those uh, warm, muggy nights in the upper uh, 70s continue as we go through the weekend as well. Uh, we are going to have that uh, boundary move through the area as well as some uh, upper-level troughing approach the region uh, for Saturday night, and that's going to give us a decent chance of some showers and thunderstorms. And we will be seeing afternoon showers and thunderstorm chances continue as we have a stationary boundary setting up just north of the area, keeping us in that warm sector and giving us a little bit of uh, dynamics to kick off some afternoon pop-up showers and storms. That uh, stationary front does look like it's going to sag a little bit farther south, um, pretty close to wallops, if not right over it, on Monday and Tuesday. So that could give us enough chance to continue um, to pop off some showers and thunderstorms um, it, really any time of the day on Monday and Tuesday. Still going to be looking at above average temperatures near 90 degrees for those days. And then as that um, front s continues to slowly sag southward, we will uh, get those showers and thunderstorm chances cleared out of here, as well as a return to uh, more seasonable temperatures in the mid-80s and possibly even the low 80s as we go into late next week. That'll do it for your Wallops Weather Briefing. We'll be back tomorrow morning at 8.15 a.m. for your daily operations briefing and at 10 a.m. for your full weather briefing. Have a nice day.